how to upload your Minecraft mod to CurseForge. Of course, you first of all want to go to curseforge.com and make an account. For this, you go to the login button on the top right, and you can see you can either go with Google, Twitch, or Discord. Once you've made the account, there are a couple of ways to actually start a project. You can go to create and then hit start project right here. This will open a new tab and get you to the legacy side because on the new side, the start project page is actually not done yet. I also suggest looking at the project submissions guide and tips over here. That is a very useful support page. Well, then you select the game. In our case, you can see there are a lot of different games right here, but we're just going to choose Minecraft as this is the Minecraft Java edition and we want to upload a Minecraft Java mod. All right, so this is what I have so far as a description. I think that's hopefully going to be enough for the time being. We can, of course, always expand this later as well. Then we go to the distribution over here. In this case, I will say it is going to be allowed to distribute the project. This is for basically third-party APIs. There's a couple of things like Curse Maven would probably fall under this and a few other things. Overall, you shouldn't lose too much thought of this. It's basically just going to be allow or if you're like unsure that you can also say do not allow either is totally fine you can also learn more on the link right here then when it comes to the project license that's a little bit more complicated so all rights reserved is the standard basically meaning that you own all of the rights to this and you and you do not allow anyone else to do anything except with explicit permission this is the standard and if you need help choosing a license you can click right here and this is going to get get you to chooselicense.com very great website that you can basically take a look if you are interested in this thing Otherwise, you can either just leave it at all rights reserved or if you want other people to look at your mod and look at your source code, for example, you can say MIT license. In this case, I will choose the MIT license as I prefer this. But once again, you can take a look at all of the other ones and also the chooseolicense.com great website to basically take a look at what you want to choose. Then we need to pick a primary category. In this case, you can see there are quite a few different categories. My primary category is definitely going to be food. And then down here, we can select up to five additional categories. So let's say this is also going to be, this is also going to be, I think magic is actually fine. You could make an argument about adventure and RPG, although I'm a little bit, I'm not quite sure, but I'm just going to add this. I think that that's okay. Then we want to add a logo over here. The ratio must be one by one and the minimum size has to be 400 by 400 pixels. Let's just click choose file. And here I actually already have this a little bit bigger. So we're just going to open this up and there we go. That is the thing added. We can allow comments or disallow comments and we can also make this experimental. In this case, basically almost always you don't need to make this experimental. And just with that, right, we have everything set up so we can now start the project. Now, it's quite important when the project has been created, you can basically then see the site right here. Or if we go to the non-legacy version, right, just in the URL, we're going to delete legacy and the dot here in the beginning. And then you can see we don't actually get to the normal site. Now, reason is that we actually need to go via our dashboard over here. So on the right side, we can go here to the dashboard. We should then see our number of projects, right? We can vis visit the projects. We can actually see Countum's Monster Cookbook. And we can see this is a new status over here. So we can go to the view and then actually see it. So once again, it is only visible in the legacy version until it is approved by a moderator. That's quite important. Otherwise, it is not visible to anyone else. So we cannot even give this link to anyone else. This should only be visible to us. Now that we have a project page, we can actually do a few other things. And that is, for example, upload some images. This is always a great idea to upload an image or two. So let's go to image right here and we can then choose a file. I'm just going to drag this over and you can see this is my file. This is going to be so this is going to be a selection of monster drops. You can also add a description and we can upload this. And then under our images, this is going to be displayed. You can further edit the image and also delete it if you still choose to. But in our case, what we actually want to do is we want to go to file over here to the upload file. And we're now going to upload the jar file. Once you've actually created your custom mod, that is where you're going to upload the jar file. So you're going to build the you're going to build the mod and then you have a jar file, which once again, we're just going to move over here and you can see it now uploads the display name. I'm going to do monster cookbook and then 0 0.01. And this is for Forge 120.1. So basically in the display name, I always like to have the version, both the Minecraft version as well as for what mod loader it is, as well as the version of the mod itself. In this case, this is alpha and this is going to be the initial upload. So usually in the change log, you would add, you know, what changed if you added any items, if you changed any parameter parameters or anything like that. 
In this case, because this is the first upload, we're just going to add initial upload here. And then we also wanted to say, hey, where is this supported? Well, in this case, it is server and client. This is for Forge specifically. It might also work in NeoForge. However, because I've not tested it, I'm only going to select the one that I absolutely know it works for. The supported Java version is 17, and this is for 120.1. And there we go. We then want to go all the way down to submit file. And once we've hit this, this is the moment when it's actually going to be sent off to a moderator and they're then going to, well, basically test it. So we're going to submit file right here. And what you will find then is that this is in this case alpha over here. This is for 121 and it is still processing. So basically in the background it is uploading and then, you know, it's checking for viruses and things like that, which is of course quite important here in this case. But yeah, that is it. And you can see this is a new project until approved by moderator, it will not be visible to others. So, so in this case, it is not yet visible. However, right now it is in the approval process. This can sometimes take, once again, a couple of hours to a few days, depending on which day you submit it or time of day, of course, as well. That is quite important. So if I were to go back to my dashboard over here, so this is the new dashboard in the view, we can see that I have the, I still have the new status right here and I can go to edit right here as well. And I can actually take a look at this so you can see that I've just uploaded this. It's being scanned for malware. Currently it is all being done, but yeah, there you go. So that is the project page. So overall, that is basically everything that you need once again. And if you then want to ever update anything, you can just go to file and upload a new file, right? So if you, for example, now have a fabric version, the same thing applies. Just upload the file, edit the things that you need to add it, and there you go. And that is how to upload your custom mod to CurseForge. Also take a look at this video right here as YouTube thinks you'll enjoy the most. Hope to see you there. So yeah.